Um, that was obviously a very stressful tribal council for me. Um, also, not just stressful, it's kind of scary, kind of sad, just every bad emotion you can feel. And um, it, that was just, it was bad for me. Um, I felt going, honestly, walking to tribal council, I was thinking it was Amanda, and I, I was ready to go to Amanda off. I had told her it was going to be her, and as um, brutal as her answer to that was, um, her response to that was, um, I, I still, I, I was, I kind of had come to the term, come to terms with the fact that I was voting Amanda off, um, and then right on the walk down to tribal council, they, they pulled me aside, it was, first Darren turned around and whispered Kyle to me, Maggie was trying to decide what she should do too, because she wanted to do what I would do, because we, um, obviously want to stick with the majority, um, so it wasn't until literally we were a foot away from Paul, um, about to walk into tribal council, that I decided, well, Kyle out now, and Amanda can be next if that's what happens, and if not, well, she's, she's a very deserving winner if that's what happens. I'm glad I got it out, and I think I'm just worried that if I go and talk to Michael, he'll get mad at me, but I know I need to talk to him because I, I honestly don't want him out next. Um, I, I want to try and still work with him if that's a possibility. It just, it just, um, for me, I don't think anything in this game should be taken personally, especially on an all-star season, um, where most of us know each other already. Um, nothing should be held, held against, um, people because of the judgments they make. I, honestly, I, my first choice to vote out would be Amanda, and I, just, as, uh, she's just buttering yeah. everybody up, and I know she's not, like, doing this to, that's just part of who she is, she's just a really likable person, and I don't, I don't want to get screwed over by a likable person, you know? Yeah. Well, we could do that, and that would leave And that would, that would make Michael trust us again, too. Michael, right? Darren, you, uh, Maggie, Maggie, me. That would be six. And, and then we can just see from there, because I, I mean, it'll be you and me and Maggie together. Um, but it's just hard to know who the fourth person would be, or, like... Yeah. I just... I just, Michael had this big breakdown, and I don't think it was... But the thing is, I mean, I understand why. Mm -hmm. And and it's not like, he's not playing it up for the camera or no, anything like that. definitely not. But at the same time, you can't let that influence no, whether I know. or not. I know, I know. It, see, I think we need to think strategically what's going to be the best, to keep him or not. Whether or not he hates you, it, he's not going to hate you. Okay, well, I think that... If we do go for Amanda next, we would have him on our side for sure. I mean, I think. But we have Amanda on our side for sure, also. I know, but I don't want but to she's go maybe against more of her a in the final two. And yeah. She's, and she's saying, like, I don't want to be in the final two. Yeah, and but I, of course she'll fight for it. Yeah, if if yeah. she makes it to the final three, then she's going to want the final two. And yeah. I just. It, I'm. It just. It, it, it's it's kind of scary to me that um, Amanda was able to work her way out of almost every time where she was possibly on the chopping block. And like, I, I definitely understand where they're coming from, though, and I think that if I was in their shoes, I would have made the same exact decision. I think for them, it was the right decision. I just wish I would have been told. Yes, I do agree with them that I would not have gone with their decision because of mine and Kyle's final two-pack, but I would have still just liked to have been in the know that this was going down. Like, I tried to not be a big villain, I tried not to cut in too many deals, I tried to be fair to people and nice to people. And that just shows, I just went from the top of the totem pole to most likely the bottom of the totem pole, so... I think now I start, I do have to actually start scheming with people, and really... Before it was all ideas and, you know, we could do this, now it's, it just, like, it's my only shot to stay in this game now. It's like, I've been super close with Maggie this whole time, but in the past, like, after this past fall, like, I felt like... I just, that made me really suspicious, because she was very... And so then I tried to probe her about it, like, so does that mean you want us to vote Shandy? And she's like, no, I'm not saying that. I mean, it's anyone's game at that point. Which I think it's yeah. true. I think it's it true. Be. But here's the thing, the good thing about keeping Darren one more is even if, because it's so haphazard, even if you and Darren and Sarah go together for Michael... See, that's just it. But I don't want you to eat. I 
Yeah, yeah, it's on those yeah, juicy those pages. Go with us. Cause I've not been getting good vibe lately. Then yeah. So let's put it on my goal. Okay. And then see, feel it out with Martha. But if you have a solid alliance here, otherwise I feel like one of us might be going. In which case you might be in trouble. But that's just the vibe I was getting. I am definitely, um, well, pretty interested in continuing work with Mike. Um, it's an option. I mean, I think. I'm gonna have to have to have to have a talk with Martha and um, Shandy and decide like what's gonna get us the farthest um, in this game. Um, going with um, Sigrid and Amanda for Final Five Girls, or voting off Amanda, going with Sigrid for Final Four, or going with Darren for Final Four. However, this is where the game gets tough, and we gotta make some really big decisions. Question about the immunity. Okay, so he said, "Do I have to give you the immunity for you to play it, or can I just play and say for dinner?" Yeah, do that. Okay, because I don't have to. Then I don't have to show you. Like, I have to like. Yeah, I'll definitely do that for sure. Okay. Oh my God, that was the craziest tribal council ever. So Amanda had approached me about her and Sigrid teaming up with me, Martha, and Maggie, and then bringing in Darren and voting out one of the guys. And originally I was aligned with the guys, but I had been sort of thinking about that, about her um, proposition, and we wanted to get Amanda out because she's a huge threat. But then again, so is Kyle. He and Mike are like really, really tight. I didn't realize that at first, but they're really, really tight. So they would have probably tried to get final two together. And I obviously wasn't in any of those plans after maybe final five. And even so, who knows? They, they were talking a lot to Darren, so they could have tried to cut me out earlier. Darren, does that throw a wrench in your plan now that Martha's won immunity? Yeah, but Martha was going to be the next one, so. <laughs> Damn. How does it feel to get so close? You won the last challenge, just second on this Ooh. one. Don't you think you're setting yourself up to be a threat? All I know is how, how to do is win, so. I, mean, I didn't win now, but close to winning, I guess. Sigrid, how are you feeling going into this boat? What is the mood of the tribe right now? Um, I think <coughs> most everyone knows what's going to happen. At least I, that's what I think. So, um, it's not as stressful as last tribal council, that's for sure. Amanda, is the tribe in a better place than they were when you guys last, last left this tribal council? Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, maybe not for the first, like half an hour. That was still a little Well, bad. can you try to explain, where did all the emotion come from? Uh, I will explain yes. that. Okay, Michael, go for it. I would say I was just as blindsided as Kyle about how that vote was going to go, and I was not the most graceful or happy about it, and so there was, it was pretty tense around the camp, but I think, I feel like we really pulled it around, so... <laughs> Shandy, is that true? Do you think all everything is kind of put aside, or do you think some of that tension is still lingering? No, there's game tension, but there's not the same tension as we have in the world. Maggie, how nervous do you feel about your place in the game? Um, as of right now, I mean, I'm always going to be nervous, because that when you're not nervous, that's when um, you can get blindsided the most. So, um, I guess <coughs> I'm at a pretty good spot, but I don't want to be too sure. So Darren, how do you base your vote? Well, survivor, Paul. I mean, it's the, the part of the game, it's like when you get down to the sticky situations, not everyone can win. And I mean, it sucks because I wish all of us could win. Actually, I don't. I take that back. Um, but uh, I mean, you just have to go with people. You have to go with your gut feeling, I guess. So. Amanda, are you guys thinking about the jury yet? What they're thinking, how they're going to vote? Or do you just have to get to the end first? Yeah, there's a bit of that. I think it's just been such a scramble, well, for votes that we've had so far, that 
it's hard to think about that when you're just worried about making sure that everyone's going to vote the way that they said they were. Um, and I, I think that that's the more time-consuming part. I think alliances were so shifted that it took much more groundwork to figure out where everyone's place was in the game. And I may have neglected thinking about jury votes. I don't know if everyone has. Um, but yeah, I definitely think I put it on the back burner, which might come back and bite me.